Good day, everyone, and thanks for joining us here in the charge. You tune into the Crypto Flight Edition. It is your fellow passenger stopping in with some technical details on the XLM USD, and we're going to go over the BTC pairing. Before we get started, please assess your risk tolerance. Uh, this is just ticker symbols that we go over um, in the traditional and in the uh, alternative markets. This is the alternative. This is a crypto. Again, ticker symbol XLM. USD. We're going to start with that. So again, these are volatile assets that you can potentially go to zero. That's just something that we standard say on the channel here. Welcome back if you're loyal, new, new. If you're new here, we'd consider hitting the subscribe button if you find any valuable information. So let's go over the lines. Let's go and dive right into the charts here, shall we? All right. So today's March the sixth, two thousand and twenty-one, and the current price of XLM is going to be forty-one cents. Okay, it's up approximately 2.5% for the day. Uh, it's fluctuating there. And I'm going to pull up our infamous lines. Here they are. That's it. Really simple. Ladies and gentlemen, what you are looking at is the green line, which is only what we're going to focus on now because the red line, it's already above that level. So we're just going to focus on the green line, which is at about 31 cents. As long as this cryptocurrency can stay above 31 cents, then it's likely it will continue the trajectory. If you notice back here, these are weekly candles, by the way. All the way back in uh, March the 11, 2019 is when it came out around 11 cents. And if you notice down here, I should have made like a little uh, inverted dome formation where it just made this little cupperture area. This is all consolidation down here, right? And then it just consolidated and it broke out. Boom, really nice uh, move to the upside. This is a result of the consolidation range as far as what I can understand in terms of the technical data. Uh, please be open to volatility. If the price just so happens, the cryptocurrency rather, just so happens to break down below 31 cents, you just have to be open to that um, but I guess we'll do a real we'll do a revisit on this if it does break down below 31 cents so let's just take this one step at a time uh, the the previous level of resistance is 31 cents so if it stays above that level then I don't see why it'd be an issue for this cryptocurrency to revisit the recent highs which is currently at approximately 60 cents or even obliterate that level because what's happening is the buyers have taken control of this market after the breakout that we just went over uh, near the uh, the level down here where they broke out is at 14 cents so yeah as long as it's well above that level it's simply a result of the consolidation range and the buyers taking control of this market which they've they've had control of the entire time i mean if you just kind of date back to this um march 2019 over to like 2020 i mean it just experienced some downward pressure from there right i mean this is kind of useless information but i just want everyone to be on the same page in terms of why the price action is kind of going to the upside i mean and it's, if it continues its aggressive behavior and the thrust and ease to the upside it's simply a excuse me, a result of a breakout of the consolidation range. I guess for me explaining that, let me just put a little area so we're all on the same page so you can actually see it. So something like this, and then you guys just kind of do something like that. So this would be like the, uh, the inverted dome formation. It's a bullish pattern where the price just kind of spend some time within that area and then again it breaks out so it's all considered consolidation let's do a really quick measurement on how much time it consolidated within this pattern let's see 623 days i guess with respect to the you know the retest right and i'm talking about the retest let me just kind of zoom in here i like to go over just a little bit more extra details for the my technical guys who are just kind of learning uh, so again, this is the inverted dome formation where it just kind of consolidates within a bullish pattern. And then of course you get the breakout. And then when you get the breakout and you get the back test of the previous level of resistance, that's beautiful. That's so beautiful. It's basically confirming that the consolidation range is sufficient and the buyers are definitely able or able and ready to break out of the consolidation range and continue to thrust and ease to the upside. So hopefully that was a pretty interesting explanation. We got to get over to the BTC part of this. So yeah, we'll cut it out here. Uh, the XLM USD pairing, as long as it stays above 31 cents. Let me see if I can get a time frame going for you guys. Let's just say it gets really boring and it starts going sideways and it ends up all the way over to uh, June the 14th, 2021. I know bulls, it's probably not going to take that long. The markets are moving really fast. But just in case the buyers are seeking more financial support in this market, because if we kind of zoom in here, well, this video is going to be long. Uh, if you notice here, the last touch point on this yellow line here was November the 16th, 2020, at a price tag of about 
eight cents. And then, of course, another touch point here at uh, January the 4th, 2021 at about 13 cents. And ever since then, that financial support line has uh, boosted the price or the cryptocurrency rather uh, significantly high enough to find its own organic financial support. Assuming that it will continue and not seek financial support again at this yellow line and bounce and continue to thrust to the upside. If you hear any noise in the background, so apologize for that. Excuse the noise. Just Mother Nature. Uh, stopping in here so let's go ahead and see what we got for the xlm btc pairing same lines a little bit different the yellow line is going to be descending here but it appears that it has broken out above the yellow line if you're uh you know familiar with what we go over on the channel you know that uh, it's pretty interesting price activity when it successfully breaks above and stays above this yellow line it's kind of a breakthrough line now it's just near the critical level I think it really needs, this is a really important time for this XLM and BTC. This is the Binance uh, chart that we're looking at. If it can stay above this red line, and if I can actually save the level there, it's going to be 765 Satoshis. Now, this is a little bit different for, the, for my new guys. Satoshis are just pennies in the dollar, and BTC is the dollar, okay? Bitcoin is the dollar. It's the be best way I can explain it for you, okay? So as long as it's above that level, yeah, it should be just fine to continue to go to the excuse me go to the upside but if we back out here and just take a really nice look at this let me pull up the higher time frame so we all on the same page about this i really want to get like an overall view of both of the uh, the cryptocurrency uh, here the btc and usd pair so if you notice here it came out near the btc it's xlm and btc pairing came out near the uh, december the 4th 2017 so if you notice it just kind of blasted off to the upside and actually made its highest point near the what is this uh, 6789 satoshis and ever since then it's just been walking down the stairs so it's never really been like in an uptrend it's just been walking down the stairs so yeah i mean as soon as it can gather up enough momentum it appears to be in like a really nasty sideways consolidation as soon as it can just you know i'd, I'd say this is it's within a consolidation range like if we look at it like from here especially if we can get above this green line right so the initial breakdown below this green line which is currently at about um, 1393 sets or so 1393 sets and this took place on june the 3rd 2019 i would consider all of this price activity satoshi activity right uh below as consolidation but it really needs to get above this green line and then we can say, OK, this was all consolidation. Remember, these assets can go to zero. I'm not sure. I don't do that information. So, so far, assuming that it will likely break back above the green line. OK, that will be 623 days so far consolidating below the green line. OK, below the 1399 Satoshi level. So let's let the price action uh, continue to play out. I personally think there will be a little bit more downwards pressure in this market just because I've done a little bit of research before I you know, stopped in to make the video. So that's my speculative observation of XLM and BTC. And I think that's all we have for you wonderful folks. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully this was useful information. Let me know down in the comment section. Leave an appropriate thumb just below the video there if you enjoyed the content. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know if you guys are invested in this cryptocurrency. And also, before you go, if you're new, we covered the uh, traditional markets. I'm not sure if you guys are in regular stocks, but we cover that seven days a week. We'd love for you to join us here, subscribe, and hit the bell. We'll send you that information when it's available. And I think we have everything. Yes, good night. We go. Take care of yourselves. Protect your portfolio. Execute your strategies. We're going to talk very soon. And bye for now.